Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be opening a box that I haven't done in a very, very long time on this channel. This is going to be the Fright Crate for the month of March. This is a horror subscription. Um, like I said, I used to get it all the time and then I kind of stopped just because I was getting too much stuff. I didn't really have anywhere to put it um, and I was trying to cut back on subscriptions. So anyway, we, we are gonna get in to March's box. So if that sounds exciting, definitely stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we're gonna see what I got in March's okay. box. Now the way Fright Crate works is it is a monthly subscription, but it's not a recurring. So every month you have to go in and physically order the box. Um, there are two subscriptions. There's the $20 box, which is three to four items. And then there's the $30 box, which is five to six, which is what this is. I've never gotten the smaller crates, so I don't know if they're a good value. I've only ever gotten the $30 ones, um, so I can't speak to that. Now, I did open this just because I didn't realize it was the Fright Crate. I didn't pay attention to the giant sticker on the front. I was just looking at the back, and Mike opened it, so I do know what's in here. Um, normally, you get... A shirt and I don't know if it's because of everything that's going on like with distributors but like this is a I'll, I'll try and stand up this is a fright crate shirt so it's tales from the crypt comic book style um, yeah so I don't know if he stopped doing shirts um, prior or if it's just because of everything that's going on but this is still a good box but when you do order it it will ask you for a shirt size so just be aware you may not get a shirt in every single box we'll see I did order April's so that's coming. Sorry, this is a long drawn out. We haven't even gotten into the box. So yeah, this is the $30 box. The themes this for this one are Halloween 3, The Collector, Silver Bullet, Elvira, and The Prowler. Um, I'm trying to think of what next months are. I'll try and remember while we open this. So I do still think this is a good box. Like I said, all of my horror... Um, shirts except for one are from Fright Crates and then most of the pins like this patch is Fright Crate most of these horror pins that are on my vest are Fright Crates not all of them but quite a few so let's get this paper lots of paper there's a little card they do include a card it doesn't usually like the cards used to include next month's themes but so there is a little card and I, I'm glad there was a card because I wanted to make sure there wasn't supposed to be a shirt. Now, there are always resin figures. So there is still a resin figure in here. It's, I was kind of sad that there wasn't a shirt, but I don't necessarily need more shirts. My drawer is actually full. So if I start getting more horror shirts, um, I'm going to have to clean some out. But this is the collector item. So this is the resin figure. This is what he looks like. Now there's the collector and then the sequel is the collection and they're both really good movies. It's kind of Saw meets, I don't know, there's a little bit of like home invasion. They're, they're really good movies. Both the first one and the second one are amazing films. So if you've never seen the collector or the sequel, the collection, I definitely recommend those. So there is the collector. And that is a resin co item and they do have a website. So I believe like if you just wanted the bust or some of the other figures that have been in other crates, um, they do have their own website. I will try and leave that down below. The pin this month is from, is it the Prowler? I don't, it will freeze your blood, the Prowler pin. I don't, I'm sure I've seen the Prowler but I don't remember it. So that's one of those I'm gonna have to go back and watch, but there's the pin and I will have to, I, there's room on here, probably towards the bottom. I'll find the spot. Yeah, there's room towards the bottom. So this will go on the vest. I started this vest because I was getting crates regularly and I was like, I want something to put my pins on and I love the 80s. So I started the vest. I think I have shown it, but I can show it in another video. There are horror patches all over the back and. I, I love the 80s. Um, I was raised in the 90s, so there's little, you know, cassette tape and little monsters. But yeah, this will go on there. So that is from the Prowler. I Again, I don't remember the Prowler. Like I said, I'm sure I've seen it. The Halloween 3 item is a magnet, and it is one of the Halloween masks. 
We haven't gotten too many magnets. Like I said, I don't, I didn't, when I was getting Fright Crates regularly, I didn't get every single month. So I think this is only my third magnet, but that's cool. Like the detail, I think they're hand painted. Really, really neat. That will go on my fridge. There are two silver bullet items. There's a little replica patch, which I'll probably just poke in here with this print. Um, and then the print is signed by the artist. This is Max. How do you say his last? Where is it on here? Max Cave. So it is signed by the artist. And so you've got the Reverend and then the werewolf. I won't tell you who the werewolf is if you've never seen Silver Bullet. It is based on a Stephen King like graphic novel. It's a book, but it's more of a graphic novel because there's artwork in it. Um, Corey Haim was in it. Really, really scary. I mean, it scared me when I saw it as a child, but so there's the print. And again, the replica patch, eye patch. So yeah, I will probably poke this in there somewhere and hang this. All of my horror stuff is in the closet. I've got a shelf in there and my prints are hanging around. Let me leave me a comment if anybody would like to see where my horror stuff is. I can take you in the closet. I don't know if I ever did that. The Elvira item is a heavy metal Halloween CD. Um, this is probably like one of those things that you used to be able to get at like big lots and Walgreens around Halloween. They would have them like in a little end cap and you could get like the Halloween CDs, but this is fun. I still have a CD player. There's the Exorcist, Frankenstein, Godzilla, Phantom of the Opera. So yeah, I don't mind this. I think that's kind of fun. And then we did get a DVD. There was two options you could get. John Carpenter's Fear is Just the Beginning. It's a documentary. Or you can get the one that I got, which is The Loved Ones. It's a modern day horror classic. So I will have to watch this. I haven't ever seen this. So there's the DVD. So that's everything. So we got the DVD, the CD, the bust. A little magnet, the pin, and then we got the print, which is signed by the artist, and then the patch, eye patch. So yeah, I didn't think this was a bad crate, even though we didn't get a shirt this time. Um, I think, that, like I said, I did get um, April's, and the box comes out late, so like this is March's, and it mails out like the second week in April. So like April's box, I'll get second week of May. So it's always a month behind. That can be a little confusing, um, but that's always been the way Fright Crate has operated. Um, the themes next month are Freddy versus Jason. I'm trying to think. I just looked at it too. I'll leave them down below and I will check and see if there's any crates still available. Um, they do sometimes sell out really quick. It depends on the month and the themes. I always go on on the first because um, he releases what the themes are ahead of time. So he sh that should be coming out um, for May if April's is sold out and you want to wait until the first of May. Um, but I will leave all the information down below. I will leave the themes for next month down below because like I, I just looked and now I forgot. Um, four, there's always four or five themes. Um, I think there's supposed to be a Blu-ray in next month's crate. Again, I don't know if there's going to be a shirt. I commented on one of his Instagram posts. Sometimes he responds to me, so we'll see. I was just curious why there wasn't a shirt this time. I know I'm on the shirt train, but this, this was still a good box. Again, I did already get April's crate. I got it at the beginning of the month just because I did cut out, cut down some of my makeup subscriptions and I wanted to incorporate some more horror stuff back into the channel a little bit for people that like it, so... I am bringing these boxes back. I won't get every single crate. Again, I have to wait and see what um, May's themes are. He hasn't released them yet. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I feel like this was a little bit rambling all over the place. Let me know if you want to see the vest a little bit more in depth and I can show you my little horror figurine collection that I've accumulated from Fright Crate and also my horror t-shirts. I could do a video on that. Leave me a comment if anybody's interested. I don't mind. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed and I hopefully will see you in another video very soon. Bye everyone.